Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 2024 Derby City Classic. We're playing bank pool. Fetter Gorse versus Sebastian Brown. We are playing short rack banks here at Derby. This is going to be a race to three. Winner's choice to see who breaks. Here comes the lag. Looks like Fetter's going to take that one down. My name is Summerfield Habner. Thanks for tuning in here with Railbirds Productions. We're excited to be here. Fetter barely winning that lag. Uh, no kicks, combos, caroms. It's all got to be clean banks. Cue ball into object ball, off the rail into a pocket. And all fouls will cost you a ball. Anything that Fetter makes on the break here, he's going to spot up. Yeah, thanks for tuning in with us here. I'm excited to be here. This is my favorite pool tournament in the world. If you haven't checked out Derby City Classic, make it happen. a scratch all right so he's gonna start negative one he's gonna have ball in hand in the kitchen not true ball in hand well that's a uh, spotting him a ball that's a good advantage here for Sebastian let's see what he can get going he's already paying up smooth play tell you when those side pockets are open off the break it really really changes what you can accomplish in this first turn at the table he looks a little pinned here coming back to the side that four is a big ball i think the three gets around it but it's a good just a little wide taking a one to negative one lead it has been so much fun watching Fetter develop his game on games like One Pocket, Bank Pool. I mean, just such a pure shooter. Yeah, these clip banks on the side turn into hangers pretty quick. This is round two. Ooh, man, catches that little nudge, almost catches another scratch. So we're in round two here. Um, Sebastian does have a loss, so this is an elimination round for him. Fetter's still without a loss here. Tries to stiff that one in, not quite getting there. That'll spot up, and Fetter's back to even. Boy, that table looks so good to start with, and it's tightening up really quick. I think you can thin that five under the two. Looking at the straight back. Smooth. Like I said, bank pool, the first event they play here at Derby City Classic, round two. So these tables are still pretty much brand new, still slipping in. So that does make it harder to see, especially wide angle lines. Um, but definitely helps with the pocketing. Yeah, a little bit stuck here. Nine ball does go. Oh. Man, I thought that one was going to fall. like just part of a pocket getting around that four man slips it in the short side of the pocket very nice shot
don't think that seven passed the four. Yep, he's got kind of a funky lay of the table here. Playing the two railer. Definitely a shot you see come up in one pocket a lot, hits it a little wide. And again, that's kind of new table slippage. Just opens up a little too much on you. Really wants to do something with that four. Likes the two in the side. Pretty natural line. And pretty safe shot as well. So four balls. Looks like blocking the entire side pocket. And opens up the straight back though. These are the ones that I just feel like Fetter just hits so good. Just dead straight lines definitely slipped wide on that one four ball kind of coming back to the same spot Is such a streaky game, it's you just kind of wait to find that rhythm, and once you do, pocket opens up a lot. Z Bank looks on, it's close. It's a good job getting the cue ball to the rail. Better just gonna stick him there. It's definitely a big part of this game. I mean, when things don't open up, just kind of forcing your opponent to take a swing at something, hoping they open up the table for you. Trying to get down to the rail, but leave some some good options here. I think I'm gonna try to play off a ball and come back up rail on that shot. It's a pretty pretty straight bank here on the three ball or the seven on the side. Stuck on the rail though, it it's tough. I mean, it's a lot of cue ball movement, especially when you're not really doing something aggressive. Seems like an unnecessary risk, but this is all the opening you need to leave for Fetter to get, get warmed up. Safe cue ball, though. That four ball landed in a pretty dangerous spot to shoot at anything here. He likes the straight back. A little wide. Yeah, and that's why it's such a dangerous shot. Three ball lands in a tricky spot. Wish. 
Fed are still playing pretty safe. I watched Shane do a lot of this in the U.S. Open this year as well. Um, playing, I mean, very, very shot by shot, especially when he was making sure that he won games, not kind of just free shooting. Just really making sure that every single shot, you're doing something aggressive, but also sticking them on the rail. So yeah, take your swing, but make sure your opponent's not going to have a shot. And that's pretty tough to defend against. Yeah, you're always shooting out of a hole. Yep, so kind of responding. I think that's a smart shot. The tricky thing about that strategy is that the person who's comfortable shooting off the rail from nine feet away is typically going to prevail in this situation. It's going to slip in for him. Seven ball does look like it goes. A little short. Mm. Yeah, it's hard for that one to not feel like a big ball right there. Fetter needs one. Oh, never mind. Sorry. He needs two. Three, two. Straight back on the seven. I like this shot a lot. Catches it a little fat. Does a great job getting them on the rail. up table Clips that head ball. Definitely wanted to try and avoid that. Well, opens these up. Nine definitely gets around and is free. anything goes here. Gets those balls to come back together. That's a pretty sweet little shot. Oh, Fatter needs one. I like playing the seven here in the lower left. Um, yeah, got a safe way to shoot it. Oh, as long as you look out for that side pocket. I don't know a lot about Sebastian's game, but it looks like he's a, a 593 in the Fargo system. If you guys are familiar with Fargo, uh, it tells you a little bit about uh, Fetters, a little above an 800, so that's a pretty dramatic difference. Again, that rating system. Nice shot. And that closes down game number one for him. Fetter, I believe, will elect to break despite the fact that he scratched on the opening break. It's 
sponsors this stream. Bad Boys, huge shout out to them. Thank you so much for everything. Hustlin' Clothing USA. They're terrific. Shout out to Tony. JB Custom Q Cases. Jerry Olivier Custom Q's beautiful work. Blitman Lights out of Portland, Oregon. And Locked and Loaded Custom Billiard Apparel. Thanks for everything you do to bring this stream to you guys, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Yeah, Fetter kind of came across the head ball earlier. There we go. Gets that head ball to fall. Three on the break. And that can either be a great advantage for you or it can work against you because you just got less to shoot at but really wide open table here six ball is out of the way of the seven right calling the straight back That's in the pocket. Yeah, and you can just feel Fetter getting more and more comfortable with this table. They're all starting to look like hangers. Looking at the four pass and the nine, but I don't think he'll bother. Natural line here kind of comes back for the four ball also. That's going to slip in. Beautiful. On a run of three. It's pretty tight on that nine ball for the way the table's slipping right now. Oh, I love this. He's going to try and play to spin this around. I don't know that he called a number of rails, and he has to in this situation. So, in that situation, he would have needed to say three in the side. So, otherwise, you're, you're shooting a single rail. That's not, not obviously possible on that shot. Fetter spot in four. And Sebastian with his work cut out for him. Yeah, your first time to the table, you're down three balls, and this is what you're looking at. That's a tough rack. It's like Thanonet coming back up table. It's a nice shot. Ooh. Avoids a scratch. Drills that ball. So he'll thin off the four again. You got a nice, natural, safe way to shoot the shot. Maybe you make it, win the game. Look out for the scratch, though. So. Ooh, man. Close to that corner. Fetter flirting with it. Played this a straight back. This is... Yeah, when you, you hit that one right, you got to be careful of the, of the scratch. Oof, lets him in the honey patch, though. The cabbage patch, the honey pot, whatever they call it. So many different names for it. It's a dangerous place to be. Drills it. 2 nothing lead for Fetter. Sponsors of this tournament here at the Derby City Classic, Diamond Billiard Products. They're out of Indiana there. Their facilities there. They provide all these brand new diamond pool tables, lights. Thank you so much to Diamond, Simona's Cloth, Aramith Billiard Balls, Outsville Accurac. They make the template racks for the Derby City Classic, a bunch of different events, maybe even your upcoming event. AccuStats Video Productions and Master Billiard Shop. Thanks for tuning in with us here at Railbirds. 
my name is not Scott Frost. I am Summerfield Havener. I have a great time getting to do these matches. Love me some bank pool. Better making that head ball. I'm not dropping three this time though. Tougher starting position, but more to work with. Right. It's a pretty sweet. This is danger zone. Yeah, it looks like Fetter's got the room to slip underneath this one. Uh, it's going to be close on the kiss. Looks like some high inside to just slip under that four. Wow. Smooth. Yeah, those one pocket banks, he is not going to miss many of. He's got room on that seven. Yeah, boy. This is... This rack's unpeeling pretty quick. That'll make it three. Six ball kind of making things tough on him here. Get that out of the way right now. And this is, yeah, if that one falls, ooh, hangs up on him. Great chance here for Sebastian. He hasn't really gotten a look like this uh, since the first game. Let's see if he can convert. feels to play these pros it can be a little demoralizing you don't see a shot for a couple racks and then you finally do and it's hard to hard to step up in those moments smooth Playing the two railer, interesting. Little short. All right, Fetter needs one for the win here. Sebastian trying to put something together here. Looks like you can beat the kiss on that six ball. Boy, everything pretty funky here though. Smart shot. Did he protect him from the ball that's going to spot, though? Don't know that he did. Man, and Fetter just a savage from the bitter end. Till the bitter end, excuse me. I mean, playing safe on this shot when you only need one ball. That's, yeah. These pros are tough, man. They're not going to leave you a window even when... They're running away with it. Got to mind the kiss here as well. Gets around it. Gets it a little bit wide. He's 
going to try to drag that three ball up. It's hard to catch enough of this three. It's a nice and slow, drills it. Well, excellent match there. Nice shooting for Sebastian Braun. Round two win for Fetter Gorst. Thank you for tuning in here with Railbirds Productions. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to know every time we go live with more Derby City Classic action. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.